Okay. Okay. So, so let's start from the beginning. Like yeah. you, you, you had a low brought you down to Texas. Yeah. Uh, you get down here to Texas. How, how long you were stuck down here? Uh, I stayed, um, for four days in the truck. Um, till I finally broke down. I just was like, I can't do this. Like this is getting bad, you know? Okay. So you're, so you, you, they, they had you down here in Texas yeah. after you dropped your load. They, was they able to get you a load to get back or what What's the deal? Yeah, I did get a load. I got back home uh, Saturday, but I mean, but you um, got, but you got sick er while you was down here in Texas though. Oh yeah. 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 Definitely. How, yeah. how, what was the symptoms that you was, that you was feeling uh, that man, you, that you knew that you was, uh, two succumbed weeks, to? Two weeks before this, um, before I ended up, um, down in Texas, I had a headache. Right. None. Just couldn't get rid of it. Right. That's how it all started. And then I was like, oh, man, something's going on. Well, me being the trooper that I am, I still went ahead and took off and went to work. And I went. And when I got to Texas, I, I just couldn't. There was no way between, you know, being nauseated, a headache, not sleeping, can't breathe, have to sit. uh you know, sleep, sitting up. I was like, oh, man, what the hell? So I decided, okay, it's time to go get this looked at. All right, so you, made, so you made it back home, and then you decide to go to the hospital or go no, and get yourself checked. I had to go to the hospital twice down there. Oh, so you still, oh, so you still down here in Texas and you had to go to the hospital? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I tested positive for Delta and Omicron. Oh my God. And I was like, oh man. And so the doctor was, you know, he was like, well, the good news is it only lasts a couple weeks. Okay, well, by then I was already going into my third week. And now we're in my fourth week. And, um, obviously, you know, I can't work. Um, I'm home till, uh, I'm starting to feel better, but it's going to take a bit because I had to have, uh, three rounds of steroid. Um, I obviously got pneumonia, so I, I got it good and, I was like, man, should I even bother? Because this isn't going anywhere. And I feel that now they're saying there's more coming out, different variants. And this one, I think, is worse than when I first got COVID. Like this, this Omicron, Delta, whatever, that that's like, worse than the first go round for me what what is jesus christ it's just viral they don't you know it's got to take its course but here's what you know just like i told my doctor you know they knew i was a truck driver so they gave me some nausea medicine when i was not in the hospital but once i left there it was like hey just go back to the truck and, you know, time, time. That's what they keep on telling you. Time, time, time. So now I'm like, okay, you know, you know as well as we do, a lot of people are still having you mask. And guess what? Here, here we are near two years later and... And there's still no, there's still no, no, no nothing for it. They, they still over no. here talking about this, 
uh, uh, vaccine. You, you got the vaccine, right? Did you get the vaccine? Did you get I vaccinated? Got, I got one. I got the first one, the Moderna, and then I have never been healthy enough to to get any more beyond that because I also got the autoimmune disorder. So, I mean, I'm already, you know. So my doctor's like, well, they're saying that uh, people with autoimmune disorders that the vaccination really doesn't help us because first of all you're born with an autoimmune system either it's compromised or it's good but it can't be good and bad it's either one or the other so they're seeing that people with autoimmune disorders the vaccination really does nothing for us because we still are getting sick. So, There's people, so you know, this this I'm the I'm the crying and in in Delta and all these mm-hmm. different type of variants out here. What do we? Let's be honest. What do we really know about this virus? This pandemic. Well, I can tell you what I know about it. It's a whole lot of uck, crud, and shit. That's it. It, it, It's nothing like it seems like they say, okay, wear the mask, do the hand sanitizer, the disinfectant, yada, yada, But just like the doctor in Texas told me, he said what they're finding out is uh, the strains are stronger as they develop into different variants because the you know, hand sanitizing and all that is obviously, you know, there's strains that aren't, uh, obviously, if it's being killed, then we wouldn't be in a pandemic two years later still. So if the mask and the social distancing and the hand sanitizer and the disinfectant was all that, then how come everybody's still getting sick? And how come it's not going anywhere? It's not going anywhere because it's viral, number one. I mean, it's just got to take its course. I'm four weeks into this this time. And in three of those four weeks, I was out there. So I've only been home since Saturday. So, you know, people that they say, well, if you get the vaccination, it'll do you wonders. Well, guess what? It's still not doing wonders because everybody's still going through a pandemic. So apparently, you know, the doctors are like, well, as there becomes new variants, they become more resistant against what is supposed to be killing them. Wow. Well. So, you just, I, I don't have no answer other than to live in a bubble, and I'm not going to live in a bubble. Well, thank you again for reaching out to me to continue to share your story with me um i i'm i'm just literally at a loss here because not not only you but there's this other other lady trucker she goes by the name of ally snow uh she was hit with uh she was hit real hard and she unfortunately went into a coma uh they they brought her out her her situation you know before you know she looked it good she was doing her tiktoks and you know i talked to her on and offline and then all of a sudden i i, I get a post on her page showing her in the hospital and you know being out of it and i'm just 
Like, it, it's crazy. It's scary. It's yeah, it's scary. Cool. It's scary now because, I mean, like I said, I with everybody over here talking about wear the mask, don't wear the mask. I don't want to wear the mask. Don't wear the mask. Bump all that. Everywhere I go, I got my mask on. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just afraid that right. you and, know. And the, th the thing is, you know, even when I got it the first time, I was like wearing the the gloves, the mask, all that, and I still got sick. So, I mean. It, it's just getting crazy. Like, I can't even get a bed. There are no beds available here where I live. There are no beds available. I have pneumonia. And I can't even, you know, it hurts to breathe, obviously, because I'm trying to fight something. And I don't have everything that I need to fight it. I don't, you know, I don't have, because we all know that if you have something that is helping you take some of the pressure off your chest or whatever, obviously you're going to breathe easier. But, I mean, I knew before I got home that they only had two beds available and of course by the time I got home there there's nothing so I mean I just came home and I've been here and of course you know my work's like are you getting better and I'm like well it's like yesterday I felt like I was getting better and then today back to the same it's like you can make one step forward but three or four back it, it's crazy and nobody knows what to do with anybody and I can't you know all my doctor can do is well you know we'll give you some nausea medicine and uh, give you more steroids and antibiotics and you know that's where I'm at I mean I don't have you know even my roommate I, I made my roommate sick you know but just like I told him you only had it for two days 